Hello, my name is Vladimir Peransky, and I'm going to do a short tutorial on do, making selections and make a multiple selection. This is one of the techniques that you're going to be uh, looking at on your midterm. And right now I'm just going to use the elliptical tool, which is the most challenging one, and I'm going to make this little selection happen for the little uh, red circle. Notice we're just using the left mouse button. We don't, we don't depress it, we just keep pressing it down and until we are happy with our selection. When we're happy with our selection, we're going to release the left mouse button and the selection will be committed. So right there, right? There is one selection. Now we have everything selected, but we want to uh, take out the donut hole, right? This hole in the middle. So then right now we are new selection what we need to click on is subtract from the selection we currently have. So let's go ahead and find the subtract. There's the add, there is a subtract. So let's go ahead and subtract from the selection we already have. Notice there is a little bit of space left over. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract a little more by going, making another circle. There we go. Look at that, see? And that is subtracted. Now I'm going to add to the selection and I'm gonna add a little bit to the selection on this side. See that? The top portion. There we go. I'm going to add to the selection and I'm going to add to the bottom selection. See this? There's a little bit of red right here that I want to capture. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. See? And we added to the selection and we captured it. Now we have to redo the middle because I kind of messed up the middle part. So let's go ahead and subtract from this particular selection because I kind of messed it up already, right? By selecting the outside, there we go. Make it as nice as I can. Can't make it perfect, but pretty close. And I'm gonna do it one more time because I wanna add this part right here, that little sliver of blue. See that? There we go. And there's our perfect selection. So let's go ahead and cut the selection out to our, uh, what do I call it, to our new scale. Or we can go ahead and continue doing the selection and chance of messing it up. So if I'm gonna add things to the selection, let's go ahead and add to the selection. I'm going to add to the selection this area right here. This green circle, right? I'm going to add that to the selection and see how that turns out. Again, I'm, using, I'm pressing and holding the left mouse button. At the same time, I'm dragging the mouse and trying to select the green area. Look at that. The selection is done. Now let's go ahead and subtract from this same selection. I'm gonna subtract this internal piece. It's not a perfect circle, so I have to use two circles to subtract, which is okay, because we know how to do this. This is more like an oval looking shape. There we go. And one more selection should do it. There we go. Right? So we did this, we did that. Let's see what else we can select. Let's go ahead and select, add another piece to the selection. Like, let's add this blue one to the selection.
Now blue is added to the selection. Let's subtract the inside of the blue out. So we're just making circular selections. I mean, I'm not trying to select everything perfectly inside. I mean, I would use a different tool for that, right? But there is your different selections. And when we go ahead and mask them, we can see what type of selection we have and what we've done, right? There is a mask selection. And uh, let's go ahead and modify this mask, right? It's just really cool to modify this mask. So let's go ahead and try it. So let's go ahead and modify this particular mask. I'm gonna go ahead and put it onto black maybe. No, don't like the black. There we go, like that. Mm. I wanna see the onion skin. Let's go ahead and there we go. So we see what we don't see and we're gonna modify the mask right here. And to modify the mask is relatively simple. We just have to, we just have to go ahead and pick our tool. Let's see which tool I'm gonna to use to modify. What is this tool? This is the quick selection tool. This is the edge refine brush. This is the brush tool. This is object selection tool. Let's see if the object selection tool will work for us. There we go. We have something here. Houston, we have something selected. Oh, that's actually working pretty well. Okay, let's do it on this part and see how this works. Oh, that works pretty well. There we go, but we're still missing this little sliver right here. Do you see that little sliver? So let's go ahead and use the brush tool. And let's go ahead and paint right over that sliver. See that? I'm just painting right over the sliver and I'm just painting on the mask, selecting what I want and not selecting what I don't want. I want this, I want this. Look at that. What I don't want is this little white space inside. See that? So let's go ahead and mo remove this white space. There we go. I also want this edge right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select. I'm just using multiple uh, selection tools and see how it works. Oh, I didn't want the inside part. So let's go ahead and do it this way. Do it this way. Eh, it's not working that well. So let's go ahead and use the brush tool to brush it in. Right? And notice I'm just modifying the mask. That's all I'm doing. I'm actually drawing on the actual mask to modify it. See that? And that's all I'm doing, right? And of course, there's other tools that we can use to do this. Now let's see, add refine, one pixel, and let's see, let's make it smooth. Let's go ahead and look at it on the black. Smooth, nope, not very smooth. Mm. 
Let's see how it looks. And click OK and see what happens. And there is our shape, right? With all the things that we can see. We can also modify the mask by just going ahead and um, clicking on our brush tool. Let's find our brush tool. And using black to hide, white to reveal. So let's go ahead, make sure you, you have the mask selected. We can do little touch-ups, right? If we change black and white, now we can actually hide it. See that? Let's go ahead and make a hard brush, right? And there's a hole. And if we want to get rid of it, we just paint over, just like that. Anyway, that's all there is to it, right? We are using selections. We are modifying and painting on our masks and we're doing different selections uh, based on some of the tools that we have here. And uh, this is Latimer, and you have yourself a wonderful week.